Gran Turismo Sport It's actually Gran Turismo 7 And let me start off by asking What the fuck is this piece of shit they call GT Sport? First night of the gameplay I got this message Second night of this gameplay I got this message as well This game requires online at all times Even when you play offline campaign mode if you can even call it that, I mean, pfft. Even licenses are part of your campaign missions, what the fuck? And a mode of taking pictures of your digital cars that most gamers will never own, it's just a peak of ridiculousness. Even Pokemon Go made more sense. Don't get me wrong, I'm one of the biggest fans of Gran Turismo series. GT2 was the first one I ever played, then I moved on to GT1. Those games had soul, I wanted to earn money, I wanted to buy cars. You wanted your garage to be full of beauties and often needed to choose between what you wanted to keep. So that brings me to cars. GT1 had 140 cars, GT2 had 650 cars, GT3 had 181 cars followed by GT4 that had 722 cars. GT5 and 6 had over thousand of them. So here we are in the modern era, filled with AAA games. And we are screwed again, cause this time fans got screwed big time. GT Sport has only 162 cars. It already made me sad the first time I heard about it. Alright, alright, I might get it if those cars are hard to get. But whatever you do in the game, you are rewarded with a car. Little of this, you get a Porsche. Little of that, you already get a Bugatti. What is the point, what the fuck is the reason to keep playing anymore? Okay, I'll try to calm down a bit. There is a shop, you can buy cars there. Selection is really small. There's a history lesson. For some, not all major car companies, but sometimes they don't even work. Although I like these, you know, kind of history lessons or videos about the companies, but they don't add to the game. Especially if the models that helped build those companies are not even for sale. Ooh, and one other thing, all the videos in the game are not in the game, they're in YouTube. That is just the laziest thing I've ever heard and seen. So, there are three regions that you can buy cars from. Two or three versions of cars under every company, sometimes even one. Wh where is my Suzuki? Where is a Scudo bike speak version if you remember that? Why couldn't you just put it in the game for old time's sake, no? GT Sport was mostly created for online competition and even that they managed to fuck up. Everyone gets the same car in the beginning of the race. Every race is with a different car, but everyone drives with the default track selection. What is the point of buying cars then? If you can only select a different color, whoop de doo And also, before you can access online competition, some dude reads you a Bible's worth of monologue about sportsmanship and rules. For this, there is sportsmanship the attitude you must have when you partake in a sport. So what is sportsmanship? Everyone knows that all sports have rules. And of course one element of sports is that you must follow the rules. But even if you set lots of detailed rules, you can't judge all incidents during an actual sport just with rules. Do not That's ram other players, he should say. I do whatever the fuck, I do whatever the fuck I want. The Don't tell me how to play a fucking game, okay? If you ram other players, he or she also receives penalty points. I've been ranting over four minutes now, but this game provides so much shit. 
that I can go on That's forever. Okay, okay. There is stuff that I love in this game also. But if they would have just stick to the original frame and charm that GT had in the beginning, it would have been a great game. So let's touch a sensitive subject, graphics. Well, I love what they've done with the surroundings. I mean the mountains and the skybox. It all looks good. But what has happened to the ground? This doesn't look like dirt at all! It looks like shitty pixelated wall texture from Medal of Honor Underground. Ground looks like crap everywhere. And even the grass. It looks like grass from FIFA 2004. <laughs> My god, it's 2017 and they fuck up grass and dirt. At first I thought that maybe we got off on a wrong foot with this GT as the game didn't let me play it for two days. But then when I finally got in, I was disappointed in every corner. Doing licenses is the most memorable part in GT series. Days upon days of ranting and trying to get a bronze medal in every race. That's what GT reminds me. Well, the looks of this mode in GT Sports is just appalling instead of appealing, but the difficulty remains mostly the same, even a bit easier. I do not remember hitting all the goals in previous versions, although I seem to have troubles with the last one. Campaign missions are just the listed numerologically categorized lists of tracks with default cars divided into stages and all of them are locked unless you play them open. What the fuck? Where are the races where you have to buy a correct car with correct uh, front wheel or rear wheel driving abilities or where you have to fine tune your horsepowers to enter the race? Where, where the fuck are those? What, what is this piece of shit I'm looking here? Leveling and rewarding system is actually awesome. Only good thing they managed to implement this time. Mileages can be exchanged for rewards, although what is the point of buying a new helmet or a new suit for your driver if you don't even see the driver? Seriously! And of course, with your mileage points, you can unlock cars, cars, cars! If you're a true no-lifer, you will unlock all the cars in a couple of weeks. I'm sure that future DLCs will contain cars, but if they dare to charge us $1 per car or $9.99 for 10 cars, I will just go berserk. And of course, maybe they will add some spice to the fans, like Escudo Bike Speak version only $4.99. Then someone just, you know, has to go Hitler on them. Main element of GT has always been buying new engines and mufflers and switching flywheels and making everything you can to squeeze more power out of your weak cars. Can you do this in GT Sport? You only have car setting selection for screwing with sensitivity. Only things you can change are tires and even those you cannot buy. If you enjoy tuning mode by just turning the traction knob, then this game is for you. Uh, I don't want to keep on ranting, but, but I, I can. All and all, they fucked this game up big time, and VR and 4K settings are just like putting a cherry on top of diarrhea turd. I hate what they did to the series. I hate this GT to the core. And if I have to rate it, damn, I have to rate it. Uh, I have to give this game score 3 out of 10, and uh, that is only because of the driving mode itself. I hope you enjoyed my horrible, horrible review of GT Sport. I'm Silly Lamas, until next time.